Hour number two, it's the Free Beer and Hot Wings Show. Glad you're with us. 1-800-947-3979. Call or text. You can email idiots at freebeerandhotwings.com on Twitter at FBHW. It's the 18th annual Free Beer and Hot Wings Show holiday break-ins. Families that are not expecting Christmas that have fallen on hard times. It all started with your nominations back before Thanksgiving. And then today is the day we go in, but it's not like a publisher's clearinghouse radio promotion where it's like, no. hey, you just got Christmas. No, no we this sneak is, in. This is like Santa. In and out, if the people that are getting these break-ins ever find out about it, it's because the nominator chose to tell them. Right. Or in some cases, exactly. they happen to hear it and go, wait a minute. I heard this. Uh, now, if you're is... just joining us, you missed Steve, and shame on you for that. Yep. We have the... a lot of people that got up early. Yeah, to, the to texts listen. coming in are remarkable. It's just me and Hot Wings, free beer and Hot Wings in the studio. Kelly and Joe just left. Steve is on right. his way back. Like the way we described a little while ago, like the good old days. <laughs> yeah. All I Let's... need is a Hanson poster and a bedpan to make yep. funny noises we're with. Gonna, we're going to do not quite news next and drive off the entire audience just yeah. like we used to. It'll be pretty Before exciting. we got other talented people mm -hmm. to help and carry us. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and Steve always makes all of the break-ins available at freebearandhotwings.com. If you missed one, you can go back. So let's get to number two. Uh, Hot Wings, plug it in. Come on, yeah, boy. This is just like it. the good old days. Pathetic and inept. The good old days like any time ever for yeah. me. I forgot what the quarterback is. His name is Verace. He does middays on 105.7 The Hawk. We've been the morning show there for a remarkable 17 years. Almost 18. I can't believe it. Yeah. Hello, Verace. Hello, guys. What's going on? All right, bud. Great to talk to you. You too. Uh, first and foremost, this is the most important thing. Congratulations. You got a baby. Thank you very much. Another baby it. on the way. Yeah, I, you've got a yes. potent seed. I did a fist pump when I, I saw that on Facebook the other day. You know, now that we're friends again after a couple of your layup. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, two for two on baby making. I'm going good. Yeah, right. And do you you don't know the gender yet, do you? Uh, yes, we do. I actually found out it's another girl. It is? Okay. Well, I, from your post, I thought, well, it sounds like it's another girl. Well, this yep. is fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. That is very exciting. When is she due? Uh, May. Okay. Well, then you'll be broke. Maybe we'll break into you next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll be nominating. Yeah. yeah. A radio guy with two kids. Uh oh. Uh, Verratti, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? You're yeah. a veteran of the break-ins as well. Um, yours is a little different this time, right? Yeah, we're actually uh, we're lucky to be doing three break-ins with the Hawk this year. Wow, that is that's, incredible. That's, terrific. that's excellent. This is the first year that I can remember that we've ever done more than one. So Andy's going to be doing his, uh, I think, around 8.30, 8.45. Okay. So I'm going to be telling you the stories of the other two that we've done. Okay. So, so these and, are going to uh, be, they're done or they're going to be done? Uh, well, it'll be over the weekend. We don't really want to give the dates just because okay. it'll kind of not okay. spoil right. things, but we don't uh, under, want people to be too aware understood. of what's going on. Okay. And as we mentioned last hour, names are changed. Uh, in some cases, we're doing just enough so that uh, we're not giving away anyone's story, but we all get the spirit of the reason they were nominated and why they were chosen. Verace, right? give us those stories, yeah. man. I'm ready to weep. Uh, well, first, I also just want to say, too, it was really nice because um, since Andy always goes out, I always do the shopping before. Mm -hmm. And um, normally when somebody from the Hawk Flight crew goes with me, but this year with schedules, I had to go alone, and I'm not a great shopper. So That's I ended a, up bringing my wife. It's a stressful thing, isn't daughter. it? Right. It's just because you're, you're trying to shop for people that you don't know. So yeah. You don't really know what they like and what they're into. Yeah, yeah. it's, a, we it's a weird bring, amount of pressure. We did bring my three-year-old daughter, and she's just old enough to understand kind of what's going on. Yeah. But it was nice to kind of give her a little introduction, like, hey, it's nice when you get presents, right? She says, yeah. So what we're doing is giving presents to other kids who aren't going to get as many presents. And she just kind of – lately her thing has been to say everything is cool. And she would go, oh, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> and it was just nice. Yeah, she's kind of getting it, but she's uh, – start the charity young with my kids. It's nice. Yeah. You must be a better parent than I am because my kids are a little older. <laughs> They're four, and they'd have been started crying like, where's my present? Mm -hmm. They just said cool and one second later been upset that they didn't get anything. thought it was mine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So um, we got two stories here. One of them is uh, very unique, at least for me. We got a, a letter from a person who works at a local hotel okay. saying, um, you guys know how great I am at improvising. So I'm just going to read the letter. Go for okay. it. I got you. All right. Good. Who, 
We currently have 36 adults and 21 children that are staying at the hotel. That is a winter rental. They're struggling day by day just to have food and roof over their heads. They're borderline being sent out because of financial situations. If the person who nominated wasn't battling cancer and struggling themselves, they'd try to help all of them. Wow. They've taken on the mission to give them a special Christmas. They ask us to do anything they can. So uh, what we are doing, uh, all the kids, so 21 kids at this hotel, they're all going to get new toys and new clothes. Whoa. Donations. Holy cow. <laughs> That's awesome. Donations have come in through the community where we're going to go in and decorate the lobby of the hotel because there's no Christmas stuff. They don't have a tree. They don't have any lights. Nothing is up. So we're going to go in and take over the entire lobby of the hotel. That is and awesome. More, it's fantastic. More donations also come in. Uh, we're actually going to pay the rent of these people who are struggling through December and January. Wow. That is a it's huge just, deal. Yeah. It is incredible for that many people and the donations that just came in from around to take care of rent. I mean, that's just such a load off those people's backs. I can't imagine. Yeah. I cannot imagine. I, I can't imagine. I'm trying to put myself in that scenario anyway. It would no doubt feel uh, borderline hopeless. And then right. to get a lifeline like that, oh, my goodness. And for those kids mm. to all of a sudden have that surprise and have, you know, when you're a kid, and I'm, and I'm not forgetting about the real meaning of Christmas or anything like that, but when mm -hmm. you're a little kid, that's what stands out to you. Well, of course. Yeah. That is incredible. And, uh, <clears throat> so we do have another story that's going to happen uh, early, uh, I think early next week or sometime this weekend, too, and... Um, like Joe said, no matter how many times you read a story, it still hits you, so I'm going to do my best to get through this one. Uh, TJ is a single dad of three children. They are currently homeless and working with a local program to get them back on their feet. Mom left the family, three kids, four, five, and six years old. Whoa. TJ's... Sorry. Well, TJ's, I'm with you, man. TJ is trying to juggle everything on his own, get services for one of the children who has special needs. But he lost his job, and that's what led to the family being homeless. They sleep a week at a time in different church host sites and then go to a day center during the day. The kids are worried Santa's not going to find them. Sorry, that line hit me every single time. Yeah, it gets me too. Dad is still looking for employment. And his car is on its last legs, need lots of repairs. The family just needs a little bit of help to get back on their feet and to know they haven't been forgotten. So we got so many amazing donations for this one. The Tom Jiver Police Foundation is going to bring Santa to the kids on Christmas Day. <laughs> Police escort for Santa. <laughs> Toyota World of Lakewood is fixing the family car. They're taking care of co-pays for the children for the next two months. Child care for the children has been paid for the next three months. And actually, in the time since we got the nomination, Dad got a job, so we're giving them an entire new work wardrobe. Incredible. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sorry, I got through it. I'm all right. I'm all right. Wow. <laughs> uh, these always make me cry, but your surprises that you're busting up. these The holiday break-ins, like, you know, because we get to experience it like a listener, and so I am smiling from joy while crying <laughs> from just the emotion of it at the you know the Times River Police Department giving Santa an escort, and those kids they're just going to be blown away, and that and those yeah. ages you said where you know mm -hmm. obviously they're already without mom, yeah. and then right. yeah. that is that it's it's the most magical time for parents with kids at that age, and I say that from experience. I'm right in the meat right. of it right now. You know, Verachi. And also yeah, your un just turned three, yeah. And also your unintended dramatic pauses were um Oh just devastating. Were those were devastating. <laughs> just, oh if I could um, see I'd punch you right in the stomach yeah. and it wouldn't hurt because I'm, I'm weak. Sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm weak. No, no it was brilliant. No, no, that uh <laughs> it's that, all real that that misted me up pretty bad. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Boy, both of those scenarios that you described are and what you're doing and able to do is so cool. Yeah, those are yeah, that's beyond the scope of anything we ever imagined back when we started. Yeah, this is, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been working break-ins for, I mean, close to probably about as long as Steve left the Hawk. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing probably, it for yeah. probably about eight years myself, and yeah. this is the biggest that I've ever been a part of. So it is really amazing. Thanks to everybody. What sponsors and, and groups and individuals can you thank publicly right now? 
Because I know there's probably uh, right lots now, off the air that, you know, that's the thing is we, people hear these break-ins. There's so many people and and entities and everything else that say, I don't, don't, don't publicly acknowledge me. So yeah, this is their too. thank you. Yeah. But who can we thank publicly? Uh, I mean, the Tom's River Police Foundation, like we said, Toyota World of Lakewood, New Jersey Outboards in Bayville, and Cluck and Crabs in Manahawk. And, and uh, Andy, when he does his, I think he'll have a couple more to thank as well. Okay. Well, we'll thank them all early and often. That is incredible. Varachi, have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, you, a Happy guys. New Year. You're a good man. Merry Christmas. All right, bud. Thank Merry you. Christmas. You get it too. Every year, it's like the first time. Oh for my me. God! <laughs> yeah, some hit me in different ways. Yeah, that yeah. one. Well, it's because I think you know. Anytime well, we've talked about it before, you know, if I see movies where it's you know, like dads and sons, and you know, the dad is old or you know, whatever. I mean, anytime there's that scenario, commercials will get me sometimes, and, and it's rare during the holiday break-ins where the scenario is mom left because unfortunately as we all know it's usually dad left yes and uh so yeah hearing you know single dad and the kids and, oh, it's hard not to imagine mm -hmm. yeah like, like well, yeah what would what would it be like what happened what would happen if that happened to me you know, whatever you know, wow this text i'm a there's so many texts coming in i can't even read it it said i'm a roughneck in ohio nothing gets me but the line, kids are worried Santa won't find them, uh, struck me down. I almost got me just again. <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, Marine Corps Iraq vet, this day gets me tearful every year. I love you guys, what you do. Yes, don't tell my girlfriend. Okay. Thank we you for love serving, you too, and we love you what you do too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for everybody who's sending in the messages. We won't have a chance to read them all. Well, we'll read them all, but not necessarily on the air. I don't know that we'll be, have a chance to reply to all of them. No. Um, but you're, uh, it means a lot to us. This is a big day for us, too. Uh, and we're so lucky to get to do it. Joe is next. Described by Steve. Steve wrote a byline for everybody, just in case, you know, I needed a... He's a producer, always producing. So, like, yes. you know, I know Verace does middays, but he wrote it in in case I have a draw a blank. And for Joe, he just wrote... He's fine, I guess. Mm hmm Which is way nicer than what he wrote about Kelly. The Free Beer and Hot Wings Show. The names are changed. Some of the details are changed to protect their story, because it's not ours to tell, but the spirit of them right. remains. It's the mm -hmm. 18th annual Free Beer and Hot Wings Show holiday break-ins. Our favorite day of the year. A side note for people that are really heavy listeners, fancy idiots, that subscribe to the show and hear all of it. Um... We're waiting for approval for our charity, Idiots for Underdogs. Yeah, it's it's been a much longer process than we would have ever imagined. Considering how many people fraudulently fraudulently use charities, and um, I assumed there was no oversight, but it's really hard to start one. You gotta yeah, do a lot it, of work if you're legit. It really, um, it, it really is. It, it, yeah, it's it's crazy. You can start a church worshiping shoes and poo. <laughs> and yeah. somehow get a, approval to be a nonprofit. We should have yeah. done that. We should have become a church. Would have been a lot of, easier. Of shoes and um, yeah. But uh, yeah. the Any idea church. for Idiots for Underdogs, it'll be funded primarily by um, fancy idiots. Yeah. Which is why it's called Idiots for Underdogs. And we're going to try to extend the spirit of the holiday break-ins throughout the year. Now, it won't be scheduled. It might be, hey, one month we, we saw this story from this town. And we think we can help this person get a leg up. Maybe it's buying a, a mobility scooter or something. I don't know. Yeah, a service dog. I mean, who knows? It could be, yeah, it really could be anything. It's something that just take, like something that strikes us. Uh, something to take like um, the spirit of this day and spread a little bit of it throughout the year. Yeah. Sprinkle it a little. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's still on the way. So a number of people have asked about it today. Um, and so uh, wanted to give that update. He's back. A holiday break-in regular on the Jersey Shore with 105.7 The Hawk, our friend and yours, mostly ours. He's Andy Chase. Hey, what a good day. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Fact, oh, Andy I forgot, has... I forgot about that. Forgot Andy, about that. did you forget? Yeah, Andy has never awesome. actually said that except when playing no. along with us. No. Well, we had to remind him who he was. Yeah, then. exactly. Yeah. He had uh, sort of been pretending mm -hmm. to not be that person. Yep. 
Mr. Chase, how are you, sir? I'm doing very good. How are you guys doing? We're great. Good. Very good. So uh, I'm now, in the kitchen here. I'm in the house. Just you are. Right you're there. already in. Yeah, we're already in, and uh, we got the, the family out of here. The, basically, they they got the mom out saying that she had to go to, to her children's school because okay. there's an academic issue. Yes. Um, okay. So oh, no. she's probably all stressed out. By the way, for but, regular uh, yeah. listeners, you know, a lot of times we have to conspire with the nominators and other people right. to get people out of the house mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in order to do this. Yes, and that's always some tough. of the great... Um, backdoor Santa kind of work from a, the hoodlums yes. to to trick people, yeah. so that they can leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ha we had a neighbor I heard was like kind of like look lurking and like so he called the police to let them know that we're not breaking into this house. We're not <laughs> right. That's that a real before. concern. Yeah. yeah, I remember doing that a few times, just uh, calling the yeah. cops ahead of time and going, "Hey, by the way, we're going to be there." Yeah. <laughs> so, but as we're all here in the in the house or in the kitchen with the accomplice and our sponsors, a man just came out of the basement door what? out of nowhere. We What'd had no do? idea there was a man in the house. Did you attack him with and your little hands? Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. That's exactly what I did. Fists yeah. Fists yeah. and kicks of fury. Yeah. Yeah, I, I flicked them. Okay. I, I just flicked, flicked okay. all of them. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What happened? Yeah, did you what, seduce what him? Yeah, I mean, did you, did, you ga did you gag him and take him to the Pine Lands? Or, like, what, what happened? I, What's going he, on? He came out of the door and he just kind of looked at us and then he walked in the living room and I don't know what happened after that. Well, what do you well, mean? You, just, you don't know you like he he disappeared or he's like watching television or what's happening? He might be. I I don't I don't know. Like is he in the other room, guys? He's there. Oh, he's still here. Yeah, he's still here. Oh, I'm like you, you should be said concerned. Hi to him There's or, a, yeah, yeah, I mean like uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so nobody, you haven't talked to him, and he hasn't said, no, who are you people, and just, why are you in this house? Is he like, it's just I, like, I, he's the I, dude. I, yeah, does he? Yeah, he's he, he's dude, exactly. He's just a dude that, here in the house, and I guess is he's it, fine, and he's okay with us being here. I don't, can, can I just throw this out? Problem. Maybe he legit broke in, not holiday, but like <laughs> a, a robbery. Yeah, yeah, like he's just waiting for you to put stuff down so he can walk <laughs> out with it. I mean, that's a possibility. I haven't asked any questions, so you well, might be a, right, but I think he's okay. Well, you're a great sleuth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I think he's okay <laughs> based on nothing he's, I know about him. He's Columbo. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> tell us the story that you know. I mean, obviously, you didn't do a lot of deep digging. There's a stranger in the living room mm -hmm. eating Cheerios. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seller Charlie. Seller <laughs> Charlie. Seller <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let me tell you, like, first of all, like, you know, listening to Verace earlier telling that story of uh, the break-ins that are, are going to happen uh, over the weekend, whatever. But just still hearing what he said about that one family and the kids who are living in the church and saying that the, uh, the kids don't know if Santa's going to find them. Man, oh, it's man. Still just, it's like unbelievable. Like, that just, it just pulls your heartstrings. And yeah. It just makes this so worthwhile. Yep. Of, of Absolutely why we're, we're doing true. This. Absolutely you know, true. Is, we, uh, Steve's been doing, what, 14 times? This is his 14th yeah. uh, break-in. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, you know, Steve came from the Jersey Shore here. Yeah. And, but this is the first time that we're able to do uh, multiple break-ins. And we've raised over $6,000 this year. Incredible. That's so, awesome. Uh, That's so yeah, great. It's, it's unbelievable. I just want to thank our, our sponsors real quick before I get into the story, though. Uh, Toyota World of Lakewood, they uh, were awesome. They gave us the trucks. We brought all the presents uh, here to the break-in in their truck. New Jersey Outboards, Cluck and Crabs, Bar A, Integrity Builders, Tina Pilot, Big Thanks Tom's River Police Foundation, and uh, FS Heating and Cooling. And uh, and we also had a guy who, if you want to give his name, he gave us over $2,000 um, just because he heard us doing this. And he wow. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So, and he's just a listener. And he's just a friend. So that's, that's what he did. Incredible. So, Thank you. Yeah. So um, this story, I really don't know much about, about the mom. All I know is that she's an incredible woman based on this story. I don't know what she does for a living. Um, I really know nothing about her except for she already is a mother of three. Um, but this past summer, her best friend uh, got sick, uh, she has three kids of her own, but she was admitted to the hospital. Uh, there's no father. Uh, her best friend, we'll call her M, uh, passed away back in 2012. Oh. Being the fact that M had to go into the hospital, um, A stepped up and took the three kids in on her own. So from, went from a family of five, all of a sudden went to a family of eight. Oh, my jeez. Uh, yeah. And she was raising the kids as their own, making sure that they, they go to school. They have, you know, clothes on their, uh, on their back, food on, you know, food on the table for them, taking care of these kids uh, just because she knew that this is what she had to do. Um, 
the kid's mom was only supposed to be in a hospital for a temporary period of time. Um, but literally not even a month ago, the mother passed away due to complications. Oh, so these kids, they lost their father back in 2012. They just lost their mom uh, not even a month ago. So all of a sudden now, A, now has these, now she's got six kids on her own. She's got six kids, her and her husband. And she's raising them. And according to the accomplice, these kids are absolutely amazing. Uh, they, they get it. They are appreciative of the little things because they've had so little in their lives. They're kind. They're thankful. They're empathetic. And these are the type of kids that will stop and ask, are you okay, to a friend in need. Wow. So uh, the, the mom, A, who took these kids in, she doesn't have that much going on. She's struggling to make ends meet. So when we saw this story, there was nothing fancy. There was no bells and whistles about it. It was just kind of like a lady took her best friend's kids in, thinking it was just going to be a temporary period. And now these kids lost their mom and they lost their dad. Well, and now she's raising them as their own. Andy, it's, you, we see that so much where people are like, well, I'm barely getting by with what I have. But then they see yeah. it and go, I know I can provide love and guidance yep. for these kids. And I will mm -hmm. put my nose to the grindstone and I will just do it. I'll find a way. Mm -hmm. And I'm always yeah. inspired by people who do that. And so, um, I mean, we're not doing it directly. You guys and all the great sponsors and everybody else are doing it. But uh, to be able right. to give them a little bit of a leg up is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I think about it. I mean, you have you're raising three kids on your own. That's not easy. And also you're taking three more kids in right there. And it, it, it's, it's just terrifying. How, honestly, it's terrifying. It's terrifying, yeah, it's terrifying it exactly. Right. And when you're struggling to make ends meet and then you have no other choice, you just, like you said, you just do what you got to do. You're just going to do it. And, you know, we, we were able to raise so much money this year and we just, we have to take care of all these kids that we, we brought stuff for the entire family. We got a flat screen TV, Xbox, clothes, um, you know, footballs. They're giant fans. They're Saints fans, uh, Bluetooth speakers, toys. And there's one girl. And, you know, obviously we're bringing all the sports things in, but all she wanted was uh, uh, beauty, uh, you know, a gift card. So we went to Ulta last night. Last night at uh, 9 o'clock last night, our promotion director, Nancy, her and her husband jumped in the car and said, you know what, let's make sure the girl has something specific of what she wants. That's awesome. Yes. And we made sure we got that for her because That's huge. it's very easy to bring the TV, the Xbox, and the toys. And, but you know what? Let's make sure she's taken care of. And So that everybody she, gets something that course. can be special to them. Absolutely. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just it's amazing what people do for other people when in times of need. And we want to thank our sponsors. Thank you guys for doing this for 18 years. And uh, it's hopefully going to help this family make their lives a little bit easier this year, you know? Absolutely. It will. Andy, thank you. Yeah, thank it you. is. A, it is guys. a joy for us. Happy holidays, sir. We love you. Thank you, guys. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you soon. OK, next time we see you, bring your dog, OK? Oh, yeah, I'll remember to do that. Because you said you would yeah, last yeah, year you at, the, at the show, and your dog wasn't there, and so yeah. that made you, like, 40% okay? The things that people yeah, like Joe, about Joe's you. Joe's got a dog now, so my dog doesn't care anymore. Uh, not, it doesn't no, matter. bring your dog. Yeah, but Joe doesn't dog. have a Jersey yeah. dog. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> and so when we're in Jersey, we don't see his dog. I want, but We want to meet your dog. Yeah. In Andy, fact, yeah, bring just drop Come your down, dog off, and you stay home. Yeah, look how much he smiles on a boat. Bring your dog, leave your boat. Okay, we're good. Andy Chase after. Exactly. It's 1057 The Hawk. See you, buddy. Happy holidays. Later, buddy. The two great things about Andy are his dog and his boat. And yeah. those are the two things we never get. The worst thing about Andy is how close he is to us when we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. He always smells he's like a... clam sauce. He's a little handsy. <laughs> he is. But Andy Hansy. He yeah. doesn't shower a lot because he lives on a billboard, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. We, we get texts. So there's a phone call we got years ago, Hot Wings, when we were in the studios in Jersey where someone called and said, hey, look, it was someone who, as a child, when mm -hmm. they were young, yeah. got something like a break-in before the break-ins ever existed and talked about it from the perspective of the kid coming home and finding out, oh, my gosh, everything is not right. bleak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it has always stuck with me. And I think this text that we got is, um, is very similar. So I want to read okay. it to you. Uh, this text from West Michigan, actions like this save lives. Now that's, I don't want to, we're not trying to take that credit. Mm -mm. That's what he writes uh, or she. I was bullied and a friendless kid. And my grandfather was all I had in life as both my parents worked too much to be there. He passed away suddenly and my world came apart. 
My only friend in the world was gone. And with it, my will to go on. I tried to end my life at 11 and somehow survived. After I recovered, I was nominated by a teacher to go on a fishing trip with another local radio station. I'll give him credit, LAV. It's a great thing. Mm -hmm. That day was an escape from pain and loneliness and gave me memories that I still look back on fondly. It saved me. Hearing stories, these stories, is painful for me. But also knowing there are people willing to help makes my week and makes my holiday season better. Thanks for all that your hoodlums are doing, especially this. That's thank you awesome. for writing that. So sorry you went through that. Yeah. But thank you for sharing that. That um, That's something. That will stick with me. Mm-hmm.